The basic uh, product I would like to show you first, uh, and this is our um, and the, the ISMA I think best seller for now. They are uh, I/O modules. So the I/O modules are divided into two series. There are a mini series and a mix series. So on the mini, uh, you will, you will have uh, one type of input and one type of output, and on the mix series you have a different inputs and different outputs, different configuration. So first of all, mini modules. Uh, it looks like this. So on the board uh, we have uh, we have uh, inputs and outputs, and uh, we have uh, Ethernet Ethernet port and RS four A five port. Uh, of course, depends which uh, which type of module you will order. So I will I will tell you later about it. So uh, the modules the module size is two two mod is two module size is uh, very space uh, space saving. Uh, so you can you can have uh, uh, IP IP uh, type modules or RS four A five type modules. Uh, IP type modules also has on the board RS four A five connectors. But this RS forty five is a uh, is uh, dedicated to use only the uh, Modbus Modbus gateway, which is implemented in the in in the module. It's a very nice feature because you can use these modules as a, uh, these modules uh, as a Modbus gateway without any configuration. So out of the box, you will get also the uh, the the Modbus Modbus gateway function. Uh, without any configuration, so you can you can buy the cheapest model like uh, this mini module, and it works like a Modbus gateway as well. So uh, the power supplying of all the products, the mini as well, is 24 volt AC DC. Oh, the, this, so you don't need to have an um, extra trapo in the, your Swedish cabinet. You can use the AC DC uh, power type power supply type. As you can see here, uh, the one. Uh, type of the inputs they are in that in that case they are universal inputs and one type of uh, of uh, of the outputs for example here this module has a uh, eight universal inputs on board and this type of modules this this module has a uh, four universal inputs and four digital outputs for for example there are seven types of different configuration of the mini modules so seven types of, uh, with the IP on the IP version and seven types with the RS485 so if you uh, order uh, RS four A five version, so you so the modules can be the slave, uh, can be the slaves over RS four A five RS four A five interface. But if you if you order the IP version, so the modules will be uh, slaves on the on the uh, on the IP uh, Ethernet network. Yes, let's uh, let me show uh, talk. Let me talk about uh, a little bit more about the input outputs because there are standard inputs outputs implemented in. All the products from Isma brand. Uh, we have the, you can find the universal inputs, uh, digital inputs, digital outputs, and analog outputs. And uh, all the physical inputs and outputs are implemented in the same way. So it means that uh, if you have uh, IOs, physical IOs on the controllers or all the IO modules, they are implemented in the same way. So it means they have uh, the same feature, uh, features, and uh, and so on. Um, Yes, yeah, so universal input mates mainly um, measure the resistance and the voltage at the same time, uh, each processor cycle. So uh, it's of course recommended to switch off uh, the one uh, measurement method if you know the particular particular uh, purpose of uh, if you know the purpose of particular input. Uh, yeah, so um, the universal inputs measure the resistance and the voltage. And there are some standard uh, temperature tables uh, built in uh, as a as a like special type of uh, resistance measurement. Um, digital inputs are uh, dry contact inputs and can also work as a uh, as, as a counters uh, of the pulses. So uh, they can measure the uh, the pulses and uh, and the value. Of the counter is stored in the apple memory. So in case of a power power failure or something, uh, the the value of the counter will be will be saved in the apple memory. Uh, about the outputs, digital outputs, uh, there are um, four amp maximum load uh, in the standard. But there is there is one module uh, with uh, four digital outputs on the board, uh, which has um, up to eight amp 
uh, maximal. Uh, and the analog outputs uh, giving the signal from 0 to 10 volt DC and maximum load is 20 milliamps. Yeah, so this is about the standard inputs and outputs implemented here. Uh, what is interesting in these modules is that they talk uh, in Modbus and Backnet, so you can connect uh, them to any system you know and uh, provide just communication through R square 5 or through the uh, Ethernet IP uh, using the Backnet or Modbus standard open protocols. So they are this interesting feature. Uh, what's, what's else in these modules? When, you, when we open the uh, top cover here, so we can say some configuration. We have a six segment deep switch uh, here. So three uh, first, uh, first deep switches are for the boundary selection. The fourth and five is for the protocol selection. And the six is for restoring to the factory settings. Uh, you can see also here the two rotary switches for setting address on the Modbus uh, or, or on the backnet. So it will be a device ID on the backnet. And we have a LED lights here, so to uh, show the states of the inputs and outputs, and the mini USB, uh, mini USB port uh, for connect for power supplying. It's the, the module can be supplied by, by, uh, by USB as well, and we can connect the tool software tool to configure. Uh, yeah, the software is prepared by GC5, and we can connect and uh, configure the modules uh, by using USB connection as well. Uh, here we have, we have also the device for the power status and communication RS-45 on the LIP. That's it. Uh, additional feature in the you can order also in these uh, modules is uh, is very nice actually. There are hand hand con, hand uh, hand states uh, switches or the potentiometers. So they allows you to override the physical uh, outputs like locally. So uh, there are switches in case of digital outputs. So the switches can be uh, digital output can be on, off, or in, in, in auto. Or there are potentiometers in case of analog outputs. So the, when you scroll it uh, fully left, it means that it works like uh, automatically. Or you can override the signal from zero to ten volt DC by just uh, rotating the potentiometer here. A very nice feature. Yeah. So locally you can override the uh, the outputs. Uh, yeah, it's any nine. The, so this were, this was a mini series, and we have also the mix series. The mix uh, eighteen, for example, we have mix eighteen, and we have a mix thirty eight. So the mix thirty eight, I think, is a winner uh, on the market, according to the co uh, another companies, uh, about the space saving in your sweet board cabinet. So it's, you have thirty eight physical inputs and outputs and in a really small in a really small device. So this device also uh, talks uh, through the Modbus and Backnet as well, through RS45 or through the IP, whatever you want. And also can work as a Modbus gateway. And I think under the cover, you will find, you'll find the same things as I already uh, showed you uh, on the mini series. We have a deep switch, rotary switch, and a mini USB connection. Uh, yeah. So very interesting, very nice product.